Welcome to my Strixhaven MTG Arena draft. Alright, we opened a Doomblade and a Radiant Scroll Wielder. And, um, a Flunk. I think I just take the Scroll Wielder because it's really insane. Even though I think Doomblade is good. I, I think this card is pretty absurd, though. It's basically just like Charmbreaker Devil. It doesn't return the card to your hand. You think Flunk might be better than Doomblade? It could be. Just because, like, the lack of color restriction, and, like, there's a lot of black guilds in the format, right? Or at least two black guilds in the format, which kind of negate the Doomblade. I'm going to take the Scroll Wielder, though. It's really good if we get it working. Spellbinder, hello. Um... And next card is... So somebody took an Uncommon over uh, Spellbinder. I think this card's really strong. It's a 3-1 flyer for 3, and it has a little bit of tempo attached. So, I'm gonna take it. Is there even anything else that's like close to it? Major Duel? Man, it's a Spellbinder. Not missing anything in my... No. Binder. Shock's great. Could take an Inklin summons, but I think Shock's really good in this format. Yeah. I think Shock is the best card in the pack. Kills like 90% of the format. I haven't really done like a really cool Serpentine Curve deck. Maybe someday I will, but. Hmm. That's really weird. That card's insane. There's also Pigma Storm. Hmm. This is like a moment of truth. Do I take the mo do I take the Pigment Storm or the Quandrix Apprentice? Cause I think I have a pretty decent red white deck, but I think that I would play the Pigment Storm in my deck at the moment. I'm not also not really seeing a lot of mono green, so it might just be this is open, but not like mono green. I'm gonna take the Pigment Storm. Well, Environmental Sciences is really good. I mean, this is like fine to the Zoomancy, and I've seen Karog Wrangler do a lot of work, but uh, fifth pick Environmental Sciences seems really weird, right? Cause this card's pick pack one pickable. Pick a pack one and pick pack one pick one, I mean. I'm a little bit afraid to see all these Wither Bloom cards though, I won't lie. There's a trudge in the Wrangler. I think Wrangler can be really good, but I'm gonna take the sciences here. Okay, I guess Warden's like alright. I'm gonna take the warden because I can get back so I can get back some spells right now. Yeah, so Semulin has been talking about like pack one, pick one sciences at some point. I've seen other people like Echo TV doing it too. I'll take the warden. Ooh, X spells like fine. If we're playing like a slow, slowish um. X spells kind of doesn't really synergize that well with Scroll Wielder, but I can actually maybe see taking the access tunnel, but we might not necessarily be wanting that kind of interact that kind of card. I'll take the X spell here, I think. So this is a lore hold deck that really wants a Cantorius kind of bad. Would you have to expel yourself? I mean, well, no, it triggers during your upkeep, right? And you, it's a May cast. You don't have to do it. It just would become permanently exiled in that case. Spirit summoning or historian. Hmm. I don't have any learn cards yet. I think I actually like the historian here. To like, trade with things early. Tome Shredder or General. I just take the Tome Shredder. I could maybe see taking the Anatomy, but I feel like this is not the type of deck that 
wants that too badly. Tome Shredder's a little bit of a non-bow with Radiant Scroll Wielder, right? Because, like, we'll be, like, exiling stuff we would want to try to, ex to cast, but I guess it's okay. This can block, but it's a little awkward in um this type of deck. But I'm still willing to, like, try it over, like, this stuff. Like, this can block. We just have to play a lot of red sources to enable it. You, like, you expand an enemy. Yeah, I guess sometimes it can open up an attack that wouldn't have been available for either way, right? This deck is not looking quite as good as the other Warhold deck was, but that's fine. Sometimes you can draft, like, a slight, a weak-looking deck and have it just do a lot better, because reason. I guess I might play a tap scry land in this deck, so blue might be open, but those aren't, like, blue cards I'm super excited. I think Tesla Talents is actually not bad, but I'm, I'm not gonna, like, jump into Prismari for a Tesla Talents. Right? This is playable in this type of deck. Probably more than the Twin Scroll Shaman. Unless we're playing Hella Aggro, I guess. Maybe we're playing the aggro version, maybe. I do feel like the one four the one four was actually fine too. We have like zero um zero spirit payoffs right now, besides like Yeah, we actually have zero spirit play payoffs, so I guess the one four is not as exciting. In like a deck without like the spirit payoffs. I'm also open to just going into Prismari if uh, white's not open at all. So that's another reason to take the red card. You might just uh, drop the... Uh, we could try to splash the Radiant Scroll Wielder. Who, like, I think that's splashable. I'm not, not completely sure about Splash Spellbinder. Maybe, but man, that was really good. We do have a Sciences to try and help the Splashes, yeah. We'll see, if we open like a lot of really good Prismari cards, I might just like go into that instead. Which I think is fine, right? I don't know, I think this card's actually pretty good. I think I like it more than the Thrill. Well, this card's insane. And I'm only going to play it for the red side anyways. Um, this I'm I'm only gonna play it for the red side anyway. I don't even actually care about the blue side. But yeah, this card basically says like you play it if it doesn't die, you probably win. There's another environmental science, but this card's stupid. The Nasari. There's also a pillar drop warden, but uh, yeah, this wasn't here. I'd probably take another in sciences, but this card's really insane. Take it. Um, this is less exciting, rare. Hmm. Going with the Professor. I'm thinking about taking the Professor. I think Flame Scroll Celebrant is okay, but it, you're mostly just playing it as a 2 1 with Fire Breathing, right? It's not. Like, I don't think the white side is actually really that exciting. It's just like it's okay, right? I think Stormkill Artist has a lot of potential too, but I might just take the Combat Professor because I've been kind of impressed by it. Though, so, like, these blue cards just aren't really super exciting as it is. Yeah, these blue cards are not super exciting. Again. Maybe I take the expanded anatomy, or I could see taking this twin scroll shaman number two, but I need like another learn card, I guess. Cause I don't think I have any, right? I have like zero learn cards right now, so somebody's taking all the learn cards pretty high. Which kinda sucks. I'm gonna take the anatomy, I think. Another professor. There was a study break. Varian book, so maybe Prismari was what I was supposed to be doing, but I think we've kind of like kind of priced ourselves into this deck. I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. 
If I start seeing, like, a bunch of, like, insane Prismari cards, I'm gonna feel bad that I didn't jump into it, but oh well. Right? I don't know. Who knows? Meh. Meh. I actually don't think Prismari Apprentice is that good of a payoff for it. Elemental Masterpiece is a pretty good payoff. There is just also a Stonebound Mentor. Right? Like, I'd play a Stonebound Mentor. Oh, it's like it's trying to, like, push me into Prismari. It could splash the Masterpiece, too, you know? It's like fine top end, I don't know. I think the stone bell mentor, we'll see. Uh pass caller, never mind. We yeah, we finally got a payoff. Yeah. I'm gonna take the pass caller, because it's a really good payoff. Or um this. I, I think Prismari is kinda open. There's a snow day and a spectacle made, but this card's insane. Pass caller. Oh! Kintorius, you did it! Yeah. Pick seven. Nobody wants to nobody wants to draft Laurel because Yeah. There's my elephant. Rufa. Why? Rufa. Kelpie guide, what? I don't think I'm splashing it, but I don't really want anything else here. I guess I don't... Defiance is whatever. I don't know, I'm just gonna take this Rufa. I, I don't think I splash it, I don't have a ton of spells that it's great with, right? Do I want a lore hold Apprentice? Funny. Or just want this Campus? Eh. I don't think this card does anything, right? Eh, it's a Campus. I actually don't think like the 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 that guy does anything or that person does anything. It's, yeah, I guess maybe we're supposed to be blue. Rufa, yeah. I think we're supposed to be blue, but we just kind of lucked into a Cantorius. Yeah, Lorehold Apprentice is probably the worst one for sure. It was like another shaman. I have two. I have two combat professors, so that actually is good with the shaman. Like, if I get, like, a, um, a bunch of, um, enthusiastic studies, these shamans are actually legit, legit win cons. Because I think I went 5-3 with, like, a deck that had, like, four enthusiastic study in it. The shaman. Also, that decisive denial. 12th pick, by the way. What is going on here? 12th pick decisive denial. That's kind of absurd. So nobody's in Quandrix. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we saw like a fifth pick environmental sciences also, which makes me think no nobody really is doing stuff seriously. I think this orator is really good. We actually have like a couple flyers, so it could just be a two-two flyer possibly. I don't mind, like, the Pillar Drop Warden also. Yes, I could splash the, uh, Elemental Masterpiece, but I, I don't know if I need to, right? I feel like we have enough win condition. If it could be cool to copy Defender, yeah. Oh, I can copy Double Strike also. Okay, I'm, I'm in for this because it can copy Double Strike also. Yeah, let's get out of here, Angel's Guardian. Another Pass Caller or a Heated Debate? Oh, no. I really want the Heated the Babe, but man, Double Pass Caller seems insane. You can loop him. You like the Heated the Babe, yeah. Because we don't have a lot of interaction. True, you like barely- this deck has barely any interaction. It's probably like the adult choice to take the Heated the Babe. We don't have like the 3 million rip aparts. Man. Pilgrim of the Ages, not bad. We're missing that card. We need one of these, I think. Because every lore hold deck wants like a Pilgrim of the Ages, I think. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take the Pilgrim of the Ages here, because I need one. <laughs> wow! I am, uh... Nobody's in lore hole, because, yeah, that card's insane. I would splash this card. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Easy 1-3 deck. Because <laughs> Hoffrey Ghost Forge, yeah. Oh, another Heat of the Bait. That's gross. I mean, I'll take the Ghost Forge. This card's insane. Uh, rip Apart, yeah. Alright, we're getting removal. I mean, it might wheel, yeah. Nobody, and actually no one's in it. But I'll take the Rip Apart. Because I need a cheap interaction. Hmm. I actually don't know if this card is good, the Reconstruct History. Do we actually have, like, artifacts and enchantments that go to the graveyard? Not really. Uh, I kind of just want to take the 2 1 over this card. Is this card good? I don't actually have no idea if it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna take it just to see. It's it's kind of a non-bow with a scroll wielder, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna take the another one five. You get back to an instant or a sorcery. Uh, I actually have, like barely any learn cards at all. Like I think I have zero learn cards, so my lessons are kind of crappy. I just realized that instant and sorcery. I know. I actually think my lesson package is really bad. Could actually discard stuff to Thrilling Discovery and get it back with the Reconstruct History, which is hilarious. I might actually play this card, maybe, over like a third Pillar Drop Warden. Maybe. I don't, I don't think I need a third Pillar Drop Warden. Well, I guess I don't really want any of this. I guess I'll hate some of these Masterpiece. Leather Receptant? I can get it back with the uh, Reconstruct History. Is that good? Maybe that's better. I don't know. There's maybe a chance I splash this. I don't know. It's probably... I'm probably not splashing any of it. We're gonna take another Pillar Drop Warden. I guess Infuriate's funny with uh, three Twin Scrolls. I'll take the Infuriate, actually. I might play it. If I play the Twin Scroll. Ooh, the Historian. I'll take it. Another twin scroll. I'll take the dust speaker because the combo of Cantorius again. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the dust speaker because I have a Cantorius. I don't have any way of giving the dust speaker um, evasion, which kind of sucks. Nah, the pass caller than the wheel, which is kind of rough. But Offrey Ghost Forge pack four, pick four is pretty disgusting actually. Twin would have been better. Yeah, that's fair. You would take a fourth twin. I don't have a lot of pump spells, do I? But yeah, no, maybe it's, it's probably what I need to do. Who knows? I have actually had like a three, um, three twin scroll shaman four enthusiastic study that do well before, but I don't know if that's something I would do all the time, right? It, I think it's good, it's just, who knows? Right, I actually don't have access to, um, I don't have any learn cards, do I? I have zero learn, this is kind of awkward. I have zero learn, I feel bad now, because I just didn't see, like, the right learn. And I'm feeling bad about it. Doofa doofa. Might be too slow. I do like that this triggers the Cantorius, though it only makes one spirit because it's worded as one or more cards leave your graveyard. But yeah, Cantorius of Hoffrey is pretty absurd. Yeah. Why is it saying I need these islands? Because Oh, because of Uvilda and stuff. I'm not going to play Uvilda. I'm going to play as a 4-drop in this deck. Oof, let's see... I guess Thrilling Discovery might be too fun. Too silly, I don't know. 21 creatures. Twenty-one creatures on deck. 
I could just cut the Twin Scroll Shaman. I don't actually have that many pump spells for them. It is, like, okay with the um, Combat Professor, but I think if I had any way of accessing this Expanded Anatomy, I think I would play these Twin Scroll Shaman, but I don't actually have a way of accessing them because I don't have any Learn cards. I got, like, zero Learn, which feels bad. It does give the Order a double strike, yeah. No, I understand that. Like, I just feel like a 3-mana 2-2 two -two is not... A 3-mana 2-2 two -two is not really, like, great or whatever. That's, like, kind of garbage. It, like, it kind of works with the Combat Professor because then it becomes a 2-2 two -two double strike. But, man, if I had, like, a bunch of enthusiastic studies, I think I'd slam these uh, shamans in the deck. So somebody was taking all the enthusiastic studies. We also just don't have that many incense and sorceries for the uh, the scroll wheeler or the pillar drops. This deck is much much worse outside of the uh, Hoffrey. Like I feel like that other, I guess the Hoffrey and the Sorry. Like I guess you know, like cause cause that other um that other lore hold deck looked really absurd. I think. But this one is, like, not as great because you just don't have, like, the learn package and, um, don't have the learn package and, um, don't have, like, oodles of removal. We have some removal, at least, but I don't know. Feels like you need to have some amount of removal to break up your opponent's, uh, combos. I guess I don't really need the infuriate if I'm not playing, like, the Twin Scrolls, but then it makes the, I guess, Reconstruct History is kind of bad now with only, um, what, two sorceries? With only two sorceries, Reconstruct seems kind of bad. And then I guess we just run, like, Bone Shredder also seems kind of bad in this deck, too, because I just don't have a lot of instants and sorceries for it. Like, I think the Radiant Scroll Wheeler is still, like, okay, because, like, it can get a guy back, but I actually think Tome Shredder is kind of garbage outside of, like, the combo with, uh, Cantorius. Feels bad, man, yeah. Playing, like, a Blood Age General and stuff. Yeah, the deck is definitely has, like, a very low roll potential on it, which is not great, but, I don't know, like, it's, it's, like, it's, it is how it is, though, sometimes, you just, like, I remember, um, like, you just sometimes, like, just don't get exactly what you want, right, it's, like, fine, just kind of, like, move on emotionally, stuff, or, like, move on, all right, let's see, we'll cut a card, and then probably just, Take off for the night and just cut the Tome Shredder, I think. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching the stream hope, or video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the stream, you know, please check it out at Twitchy. That's my hero blue. But, anyways.